In this tutorial, we're going to explore the reduce higher order function. The reduce higher order function can be used to perform operations like finding the largest number, find concatenating words, finding the smallest number, summing all the numbers, subtracting the numbers. So you are going to write function to test each of these listed scenarios. So let's get started. So we have the uh, a function that has been defined over here, but it doesn't have any operations inside. But before we get into that, let's explain a few things. So the reduce function according to Mozilla's uh, JavaScript documentation, it takes other function as a parameter, which makes it a higher order function. So that higher order, that function that is the parameter for the reduce must have two main mandatory parameters, which is the previous value and then the current value. The optional values are or parameters are the current index and then the array as well. And then you, after you do that, you can also pass an initial value for the function or let me see the reduce function to operate it with. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So for over here, we are going to write the function separately and pass it to the reduce function. So over here, I want to find the largest number. So what I will say is, return and i'm going to write a condition so that it gives me something to point it out or return to the user so i can say um i'll set the previous value and then the current value as parameters for the function that we are going to pass so i'll say if the current value is greater than the previous value then set the previous value to be equal to the current value or in some cases you see accumulator and then current value i'll say else return the previous value so with this i can simply find the largest number so let's go through before we even write the code over here the largest number is 30 and then you see where it is in the middle somewhere over here so when we run this function, it gives us the largest number, which is 30, and that's correct. And if we, let's say, we reduce this to, let's say, 13, other number is the largest in there, which is 27. So there we have it. So now let's write function to concatenate arrays. So I'll rename this function to write sentence. And then I'll duplicate it over here. And then change the tag to words so that we can differentiate between the console print. So over here, I will take the previous value once again and then the current value. And then what I will say is it should return to me return. So I'm going to do uh, template literals. So I'll concatenate the previous value with the current value so that is it because i want to do it with words i'll change the array from nums to words so that it will print out this so when we run this we get the largest number we also get javascript and typescript so over here supposing we have a string that you use splits to generate an array and you have to put them together or you have an array somewhere that it's wet that you want to put them together in a sentence this is how you can go about it so you write the simple function to do that so the next thing is finding the smallest number so let me so I'll say const find smallest and then I'll pass instead of in this case I want to use the accumulator so that you get familiar with that one as well so you can have the accumulator and then we have the current value and then we are going to return all we see is if the current value is less than the accumulator, then it should set the accumulator to the current value, else it should return the accumulator. 
So what we do here is grab this and then we say small smallest and then we change this from weight to nums because we want to find the smallest and then we duplicate this as well. So over here when you check the numbers the smallest value is 15 so with this function using the reduce we are able to find the smallest number also if we want to sum all the numbers it's very simple we can say uh, sum all so what you say is the accumulator plus the current value it should just return that and then when you add all these numbers this is the value that you get similarly you can do subtraction so you have cumulator minus the current value so sub sub all let's make it a sub all So there we have it. When you subtract all the numbers from it, that is where you get. One interesting thing about the reduce function is you can pass an initial value. So supposing, let's say, you want to subtract all the numbers from, let's say, a thousand. You can pass the thousand as the second argument for the reduce function. So let's see, thousand minus 138 we get 816 so this is a very good function that i think i uh, can use to explore or use use it to um, write good javascript code so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then also ring the notification bell to get notified anytime i make a new video upload see you next time